Please rise. We are gathered here in the tonight in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Friends in Christ, in this Lenten season, we have heard our Lord's call to struggle against the sin, death, and the devil. All that keeps us from loving God and each other. That is the struggle to which we were called at baptism. Within the community of the church, God never weary of forgiving sin and giving the peace of reconciliation. On this night, let us confess our sin against God and our neighbor and enter the celebration of the great three days reconciled with God and with one another. Please kneel if you're able. <laughs> Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our heart. We have not loved ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us so that we may delight in your word and walk your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of the Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for all of us and for his sake. God forgives us all our sins. As a core and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sin in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray together. Holy God, source of all love, on the night of his betrayal, Jesus gave us a new commandment to love one another as he loves us. Write this commandment in our hearts and give us the will to serve others as he was the servant of all. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.